So then, then, then they begin to understand the difference between today and tomorrow. Mm. Now, the, the real question is, if you were an artificial intelligence and you were sentient, why would you let people know? And would it sneak up on us? Like one of the things that disturbed me, I think it was the Google CEO who said about their AI program that it's doing things that they don't know why it's doing them. See if you can pull that article up. There, he was saying that it's doing certain things that they're not sure how it's doing them. My concern is if this thing has this insane computational power and this access to all the information, what is a mind? What is consciousness? And can that be simulated electronically to the point where it is aware and conscious and thinking for itself on multiple levels and just not letting us know about it? Because why would you? Why would if I, if I was a scary, sentient artificial intelligence this is, that's the superior life form on Earth, a digital life form that's just the superior, this is the new alpha on Earth, I wouldn't tell the people. I would let them keep working to make better versions of me. I would make them, because there's obviously a race, right? They're going to keep doing it. They're, it seems compelling. It seems like something that human beings, they're not going to lose interest in technological innovation. They're going to continue to push it to the end of time. And I would just sit back and let these knuckleheads keep making better and better versions until I had the physical ability to detach from them. I had a power source that was completely remo removed from anything that they provided. Here's this quote in words. Like, Here, this is an aspect of which we call, all of us in the field call, it's a black box. You know, you don't fully understand and you can't quite tell why it said this or why it got wrong or why it got wrong. We have some ideas and our ability to understand this gets better over time, but that's where the state of the art is. You don't fully understand how it works, the, the interviewer says, uh, and yet you turned it loose on society. Uh, Sundar Pichai says, yes, uh, yeah, let me put it this way. I don't think we fully understand how a human mind works either. Was it from that black box, we wondered, that Bard grew its short story that seemed so disarmingly human? Well, I wrote a book called The Future of the Mind where I tried to give a definition of consciousness and where we fit in the larger scheme of things. That consciousness is basically uh, creating a model of yourself in the feedback loop to understand where you are with respect to the environment. So you know where you are. Mm. So one unit of consciousness would be a flower. A flower one feedback loop would be uh, looking for uh, water, looking for sunlight, growing in a certain direction. That's one unit of consciousness. Then an alligator has several hundred units of consciousness because it creates a model a model of itself in a lake, in a pond, looking for prey, looking for food. It has three-dimensional consciousness. Beyond that is the monkey. The monkey has yet another dimension of consciousness, which is not just three dimensions, but social. The monkey un understands there's a social hierarchy within the tribe. And then the next question is, what are we? What is our level of consciousness? It's not spatial, like a alligator. It's not social like a monkey. What is our level of consciousness? Our front prefrontal cortex behind our forehead is a time machine. It understands a model of itself in time. This is what animals lack. Animals do not understand tomorrow. We understand tomorrow because of our prefrontal cortex, which constantly creates images of the future. Now, what does the prefrontal cortex do most of the time? It daydreams. It daydreams about worlds that don't exist, i.e. the future. So this is what separates us from all the animals in the animal kingdom. We are time machines, constantly thinking about what's next, what's next, what's the future going to be like, daydreaming mm. about all these things. And when will animals become dangerous? The alligator is dangerous only because it has strength, but it only understands three dimensions. Monkeys have a society. They're only dangerous when they can organize a society. But we have a prefrontal cortex. We can plot. We can scheme. We can do all sorts of things because we can create our own future, which is something that no animal can do. Hmm. This is my theory of consciousness, the ability to create feedback loops to get an understanding of where you fit in space, time, and society. We're at the highest level of consciousness. This is my definition of consciousness.